Greetings, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alicia. I'm glad to have you. It has been a really long time since I've been at Target for a grocery haul. So I went this afternoon and picked up all the things I'm needing for some meals this week. I'm going to include all of the prices. Here is the total that I spent on groceries. There was also like a few like home items that I'm probably not going to show you. Oh, there's one I am going to show you because I highly recommend it. All right, let's just get right into it and let me show you what I picked up. All right, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start on this side. So I picked up a few Honeycrisp apples, just a couple because I still have some over here in my little like produce bowl. So just a couple just to replenish. Picked up some peaches. Now I am making a recipe. It is a brown sugar peach cake and it looks so phenomenal. I actually just came across it right before I left to Target and I added all the ingredients to the list. So I'm gonna be making that this week for dessert. I picked up some limes and a orange. This, oh my goodness, why do I say orange? <laughs> this is an onion. I picked up some limes and an onion to have on hand because they're always good for dishes and for juices. So I have those on hand along with the lemons. Now I'm always so embarrassed to get lemons from the store because right out here I have a huge lemon tree, but right now it is not producing. So I have to get it from the store, unfortunately. I actually picked up two bunches of bananas. We are going through bananas like crazy because my kids love a banana every day. And then my little dog, she loves bananas, so I have a ton of those. I got two big cartons of blueberries. Now, I am making like a blueberry cheesecake tart for a celebration of life that is taking place for my husband's aunt who passed away last year during the pandemic, and so we are finally getting around to celebrate, and I am contributing a dessert, so I'm gonna make a little cheesecake tarts, and those go right on top. Picked up some strawberries for the boys. They love having strawberries in their oatmeal or just like with their lunch as a side. Picked up two sweet potatoes. These are very large ones. These are going to be as a side for a buffalo turkey burger that I'm making this week. I look phenomenal. Sweet potato fries go with pretty much anything. So today for dinner, I'm actually making some fettuccine alfredo. And with that, it's going to be chicken and some broccoli. So I'm so lucky my boys really enjoy broccoli. And so does the baby, surprisingly, having that in the pasta today. I got some sour cream. Now this is actually going to, I'm going to make my own blue cheese oh, yeah. dressing for a buffalo, those buffalo turkey burgers I'm making. So that is what the sour cream is for. I picked up some butter. You guys know if you watched any of my Costco hauls, I prefer the butter from Costco just because the price and the amount that you get for the price but I am right now in between Costco hauls I'm going to head there probably in a week or so so this is just to hold us over picked up some Monterey Jack cheese these are for some amazing tacos that I'm going to tell you guys about in a little bit here but pick that up for the tacos and some sliced cheese you can't really see it in here I like how they have their deli to be honest I know some people probably don't but if you've ever been to Super Target their deli they used to just go up there and you know they would slice it for you right in front of you, but now they have it all kind of laid out in a fridge where you just kind of go up and just look at what you want and pick it up. I actually prefer this this way. I got some yellow American cheese to go on top of those buffalo turkey burgers. And of course I had to get some blue cheese crumbles for that homemade blue cheese dressing I'm making. Okay, let's just talk about this right now because this recipe honestly is my new favorite recipe. And these two ingredients are going to be going into that recipe. And that recipe is like a crispy braised cheese chipotle beef taco from half-baked harvest it is our absolute favorite recipe right now to make you guys it is so delicious i actually just made it last week and decided we needed to have it again this week it is phenomenal and it the only work really there is to do is the frying of the tortillas with like the cheese and the beef together but that is it i highly recommend this and in fact it required crushed tomatoes like just half a cup but i bought a big one because i think i'm gonna make it again next week for my kids and for my mother-in-law whenever we go on our Vegas trip. So I'm gonna save some of this for next week for that recipe as well. I think these are for, oh, I'm making a ground orange chicken recipe I came across on Pinterest while just kind of perusing it. Looked really good, it's something different to change it up. So these are just gonna be as a topping for that. Some green beans to go as a side to, I believe, that ground orange chicken. I know it called for broccoli, but because we're having broccoli tonight with our fettuccine, I wanted to switch up the side. And I bought a ton of lettuce because we have been in a 
smoothie mood. Like in the afternoons, we've been having a bunch of smoothies. So I got some kale, some mixed green, and some spinach. Back here is some milk. We always need to have milk on hand. And actually, little girl is gonna start having some milk soon. Her doctor approved her to start incorporating whole dairy milk into her formula now. So I'm just gonna add about an ounce or so to her formula to get her used to the milk so that by the time she's one, which is in two months, guys, it's crazy. She'll be all milk. I got some cilantro. These are for those um, tacos that I'm making. There's like an avocado cream that you make with that those tacos that you dip into. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. All right, I could not find broccoli slaw. I think the only place I have luck finding broccoli slaw is at Winco. So I decided to get this. This is sweet, like almost like a sweet kale slaw. There is broccoli in it. There's shredded Brussels sprouts, radicchio, green cabbage. So this is actually going to go on top of that buffalo turkey burger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this with that homemade blue cheese sauce and top make this like just right on top of that turkey burger. We don't use actual hamburger buns, we just use the patty just by itself. This will give it a nice like crunchy filling flavor for us. And you guys know back here we love our iced coffee. We have a little tiny bit of the cold brew concentrate from my Trader Joe's haul left. So this is coming up next and coming up real quick. Same back here, you guys know. My husband really enjoyed this cereal. It is the Kashi Organic Blueberry Clusters. We were having a rough time trying to find him some type of cereal that he really liked something like a little bit on the healthier side and this is a winner moving down here I got some apple cider vinegar and some soy sauce the um, apple cider vinegar and the soy sauce actually are for that ground orange chicken that I'm making so and it's always good to have apple cider vinegar on hand for any Asian dishes to be honest same with soy sauce and actually I'm surprised I don't have any in my pantry I bought three boxes of cream cheese two are for the cheesecake tart that I'm making and then one I'm actually using tonight for a homemade alfredo sauce now I know that sounds really really strange to put cream cheese in alfredo sauce but guys I swear it is so amazing I found this recipe on all recipes probably 10 years ago I actually have it printed that's how long ago it was it was before like the digital age of like having Pinterest and whatnot but this is so good you mix it with like parmesan cheese and half and half or heavy cream it is divine I also picked up some tuna packets these actually are for my mom back here because she asked if I could pick some up for her and this one is for me I actually enjoy eating tuna just straight out of the packet like this I don't eat it all the time but every once in a while when I need like a little protein kick I just eat right out of here and of course I got some fettuccine you need fettuccine for fettuccine alfredo of course so I got that I got some white rice and this um, is for that ground orange chicken dish that I'm making. The orange chicken is just gonna go right on top of this rice. Picked up some Farmer John bacon. I tried to go through all of the brands at Target. I can't really find a good one that I like at Target. I really like the ones from the deli at Winco, but I'm giving this one a try. I know I've never picked this one up before, so we'll see how that goes. And from the deli section, I also got some turkey breast, some Archer Farms oven roasted turkey breast and some Archer Farms oven roasted chicken breast. Pick those two up for sandwiches and for roll-ups and also my daughter just likes torn turkey for her lunch. Okay, so my husband loves crackers. He loves these Triscuit crackers. I got two boxes. I picked up two originally until I looked a little to the left of the boxes and I found this. Now, in my Trader Joe's haul, I picked up like a fig and, oh, is it like olive or something cracker and we love those crackers. They're so good. But I saw this and I thought maybe these would taste similar. So I put one of the Triscuit boxes back, pick this up, gonna try this. I bet you this is going to be fantastic. I got this assorted cereal for the boys um, because you know what guys? Sometimes the cereal does not get eaten quick enough and it kind of goes stale. Also, they like variety. Like, who does not like variety? So I got this little fun pack. Whenever there's a day where we do not feel like making like a hot breakfast for them, we'll just tell them to choose a cereal. It is what it is and they can choose whatever they want. Moving on down over here, I have two boxes of the graham crackers for that cheesecake tart I am making. And whatever is left over from here, my boys will gladly have. They love graham crackers. I also got some fudge stripe cookies for the pantry for like a little a tiny dessert for the boys. 
um, for their lunches or even for dinner. Just something sweet to have on hand always. And then back here, I really prefer the Franz bread from Costco, but we are all out. That's what tells me I'm ready for Costco. But this butter bread is actually delicious and very, very soft. So this is my next favorite by, by far. Because I have some cream cheese left over from our Trader Joe's haul, I decided to pick up some bagels. I usually don't pick up bagels often, but because of the cream cheese situation, I decided to get some more bagels to have for breakfast with our eggs and bacon. This is for that peach cake. It's gonna be a really easy recipe. I already feel it just because you use a cake mix. So I am super grateful for that. So I'm excited to give this a try. I really don't use a lot of cake mix a lot of the time. I prefer like making my own stuff, but this helps in time for sure. And here is the beef that is gonna go for our crispy Chipotle tacos. The original price was $20.69 and it comes with a $5, this one in particular came with a $5 off coupon, which means that the sell by date is in a couple days. So I need to make it, I'm gonna make this tomorrow. So that's not a problem. So I saved five bucks just by getting this and making it sooner than later. And this is the chicken I am using tonight for our fettuccine alfredo. I'm just gonna make the whole thing. I know this is a lot. This is, oh, actually it's not that much. It's 2.18 pounds. And the last thing were some eggs. I have a ton of eggs in my fridge because I did go to Winco not too long ago and picked up a bunch of eggs for some deviled eggs I made for July 4th. And this is just to kind of replenish them. So this is not really part of like the grocery list, but this is one of the home items. I have bought five of these candles, guys. This is the Masala Rose scent. And this is by far my most favorite living room scent. I like different scents throughout the house. So this one is up on our mantle back there. You can't really see it. It's over there in the corner. This is the one I light every night. It gives off a really like florally, soft, sweet, not over like powering smell. And this is an amazing, amazing scent. If you see this at your Target, guys, just go smell it. I promise you, you're probably gonna enjoy it. It is just so good. And I hope they never go away with this scent. It's a three wick candle and it lasts a really long time. It's only 15 bucks. So if you're looking for something, oh, it smells so good. I just got a big whiff of it. So if you're looking for some some type of scent like that, like for an entryway or a bedroom even, this is your go-to scent. I also picked up some light bulbs and, some, and a pan for those mini tarts I'm making. So that is what is included in the price of the haul because it does seem expensive, but the candle and everything else, light bulbs are expensive, guys. Like they're ridiculously expensive. Anyway, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video Video thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel on your way out. I would appreciate the support and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. To the moon and